to display stuff like this. Whoever's, uh, whoever's office this is, he really... He really must be a stuck-up jerk. Mr. Phoenix Wright. You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice! It's Edgeworth. Hi, Edgeworth. Long time no see, to, uh, long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Ah! M Mr. M yeah. I'm gonna restart that last part. M M Mr. Edgeworth! Huh? You know him from somewhere? Uh, of course! I'm his biggest fan! My sister introduced us once and... Right. Her sister was the, uh, the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. No, no, did I? No! It was just Mr. Ray here, he... Hey, don't blame me! Girlfriend! But we're here to investigate a murder case. A murder? A body was found in, in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm? That would be my car. What of it? What? Y y your car? I'll say one thing, she certainly can scream. Uh, well, at least it's good to see Edgy. The case. So the body was found in your car? Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, I mean, you think, uh, you think I did it, don't you? After you went through all the trouble to help me last year, no less. No, no, we don't think you did. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. <sighs> Emma, I thought we're trying to prove that she didn't stab him. Uh, wait, er, she didn't do that. I, I mean, wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister then? Y yes, sir. Emma Sky, it, uh, it's nice to meet you again. Now that didn't sound forced at all. Ah, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit, it was a surprise to me too. To think my own car would become a, uh, become the scene of a murder. More surprisingly, I mean, more surprising still. Now I'm forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. What? Wait! What did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, top of the prosecution uh, prosecutors in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, come on, Edgy! Edgy! What the hell? Ugh. I give up. Edgeworth. To be honest. It's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Oh yeah, I remember before. Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when he weren't like when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false testimonies, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to you, my, in, uh, my innocence was established in a trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. Wh what? That's crazy! <laughs> some people need to try to... Uh, very little excuse to... I mean, some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. In fact, it's the fact of life. It's impossible to stop. But some of them even go as far as present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? There's got to be a story behind that one. Lana Sky. Chief Prosecutor Sky? Yes, we first worked together on a case two years ago. This was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she would look out for me. It appears I, it, I was mistaken. Mm. M mistaken? Why? 
I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Well, that kind of makes sense. It seems like Mia and, like, it just kind of seems like Mia and, and Phoenix. Edgeworth and, like, Lana at least need to at least have some kind of chemistry like that. Hopefully, I hope. <clears throat> then why? I mean, then why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. What? what Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was a was the murder weapon? <laughs> to be specific, it was the knife I kept in uh, in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Edgeworth's knife added to the court record. Type weapons retrieved from the underground parking lot. Well, technically I'm in Edgeworth's office. Oh, technically Edgeworth received it. Put it into his office, but he's nice enough to share that personal evidence with me. Thank you. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? Come on, can't he take a joke? You have to, like, you have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Can I not be funny? I want to be funny! Eh, fuck you. Fuck you, asshole. Uh... Huh? Hey, look at that. Hey, chessboard. I'm not too up to uh, up to on my chess, but it looks like the blue's in a bit a uh, bit of a tight spot. The red knights have uh, have surrounded the blue pawn. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. The, the, the their swords have really sharp edges. <laughs> I get the pawn. I get the pun. And check out the poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. He kind of, uh, it kind of reminds me of you. Mr. Edgeworth must be a, a, a vid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edges surrounding a pawn with spiky hair. Nah, it's nothing. <sighs> Fuck me. Oh, whatever. Let's look at this. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Of prosecutors. Huh? What was that? I mean, what's that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. K K King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor they send that uh, they send the sh that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? What? So? So that K that's K stands for King. Yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't just sign that thing. I mean, this, the dang thing, whatever. King of Prosecutors. Kind of like Employee of the Month, only better. King of Prosecutors trophy added to the court records. Well, gotta look at your desk, Edgy. Hopefully you don't care, because I sure as hell don't. A work desk. It's quite tidy, as one might expect. What a nice desk. Easy to use, and it's easy on the eyes. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. Achoo. Strange. Why did I just uh, picture Detective Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take a uh, take that name uh, uh, that nameplate as a souvenir. Don't. He'll sue you. No stealing, stealing now. Whoa! These are all the case uh, all the case files. They're all stacked up to, like, to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. God. I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. He must have someone to get them for him. <laughs> Sorry. Sneeze. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Again. He must study these cases, uh, the, uh, these case reports so closely. He's so cool. You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets on the la on that ladder. Eh. Well, let's actually talk to Edgy about this. Mm, take that. So, in other words, you were the best of the best this year, huh? You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that uh, travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department ceremony to retrieve the broken shield. The, the police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. 
You've been there, correct? <laughs> yeah, more ways than one. Where, uh, where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? That's... What? Does it matter? I got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about the, his award for, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for prosecutors, like, for the prosecutor's office. Maybe... We should ask him more about yesterday. Hmm, sure. Yeah, let's get some like let's get some details from Edgy anyways. Even though he's our opponent, he was at least nice enough to give us some information. Yay, Edgy! You're such a beautiful person no matter how dickish you are. Yay. Anyways, the day of the crime. Can you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day of the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort the files of all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence tra uh, transferal. Oh. I think I kind of know that personally myself, actually. Wiping your hands of, uh, like, wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the, the police department. There was an annual review and awards of outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield? I was, the poli uh, I was at the de uh, police department yesterday afternoon. I got back at, at 512. That's very precise. Huh. Is all pro Do all the freaking prosecutors actually keep track of their time? Seriously. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on uh, precision, Mr. Wright. Heh. <laughs> yeah, you guys. No. I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth, for giving me more crap to put in my pocket. This is the sub park. I mean, the parking st uh, stub. This is the parking stub from, from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened right after you got back? What, right? I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, direct the suspicious glare elsewhere. Um... Excuse me! Um, Mr. Edgeworth, uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of Chief, sir. I got the report, sir. Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Er, Sky, sir. No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. I think I just heard. Uh, <laughs> shit. I lost tempo with that. I think I just heard Edward's lid blow. Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on the very tight, like, isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the de police, Martin. Did I not? The, the, the police department. I need to focus on the, uh, on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything, un like, unrelated. Sir! But, sir! But I'm just following or orders, sir. <laughs> orders, sir. They just told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of the pr uh, procedures. Give me your name. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. M Meeks, sir. Officer Meeks. Right. Officer Meeks, take your report and leave. And good luck with that race next month. Mm -hmm. but, but, sir, I didn't know. Poor guy. He looks like he was, uh, he was absent on the day that they gave out brains. And good luck. <laughs> Poor guy. Right. Y yes, sir. God, he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. L let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as the patrolman just now. Go down to the police department, and you can ask more there. Uh, uh thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. 